And now we are going to insert some radiators into our design. But before we do that, it's not a very bad idea to define some default types of radiators. Because thanks to that, we won't have to enter this information for each radiator separately. So to do that, we have to come back to global data. We can also access global data using this speed button. This one with the house. And now we select radiators tab. And in the table, we are looking for this class, panel radiator V key. It means the panel radiator with the bottom connection because I'm going to use this type of radiators. And now in the column symbol, we have to pull down this button and the catalog of radiators has been open. As you see, there are many thousands of available types of radiators. So to find faster the radiator that we wish, we can use the filtering and fi have only radiators of the specific company. And in this catalog, as you see, there are two types of items. We've got the specific radiators, for example, this one, CV1160. It means that this is the panel radiator with bottom connection with one panel and the height is 60. And in the table here, you can see the available lengths and also other parameters, for example, the heat power for given temperatures. But we've got also the other type of items, for example, this one, CV asterisk asterisk 60. It means that here the height of radiator is 60, but the number of panels can be different. Uh, as you see in the table here, it can vary from one panel to three panels. So this typeset connect these four specific radiators. So if you apply the typeset, so you let the program select the appropriate number of panels, which is very often the case in the designing process. The program then starts selecting from the smallest number of panels and if uh, it won't supply the adequate power then the program can try next and next and so on. So let's say I'm going to apply this type set of radiators. So now I can click select button. And in this way I have defined the default type, in this case rather type set of panel radiator Veiki. I can also define other parameters in this table, but in most cases, the symbol is the most important. Now, to insert the radiators in the design, I have to come back to drawings. I can either use data drawings menu or alternatively I can use this speed button. And there are two ways of inserting radiators, manual and automatic one. First I will show you how to enter radiators manual. I have to select the radiators tab in the panel and then the appropriate class of radiators. In this example, I'm going to apply panel radiators with integrated valves, so with button connections as well. And now, as I come to drawing, as you see, there is some logic because we've got the logical model of the building. So if I come to this wall, the program would insert a radiator that way. But if I come to this wall, the program understands that most probably the radiator should be parallel to the wall. So it turned this radiator around and as you see, even in a manual way, you can enter radiators 
to the design pretty fast. But there is also the automatic way to insert radiators. To do that, first I will delete the radiators that I have inserted previously. I am now in the mode of selecting only the elements of the heating systems. So if I press Ctrl A in the drawing, Ctrl A it means select all the elements, but in this mode that would be all the elements of the heating system. So I have not selected and I want to delete the walls, doors, windows and so on. So now I can press the button delete and the radiators disappeared. Now I will press Ctrl R. It means uh, that I wish to see the whole scope of drawing. And I will use this button, radiator with lightning, fast automatic inserting radiators in the most natural place, so under windows. But I have to select the windows under which I wish radiators, because not necessary under all the windows. If I wish to insert them under all the windows, I can again press Ctrl A. However, I have to go to another mode. I can use this mode, which enables selecting the elements of buildings, such walls, windows, doors, and so on. So now if I press Ctrl A, I have selected all these elements. For this function, I really need only windows. However, I select also doors and walls, but it won't influence this function, so it doesn't matter really. And now I can press the button radiator with lightning. In this dialog, I have to select at least the class of radiator. And after that, the program already knows the default the symbol. I may select other parameters, but it's not obligatory. And now I have to just press the button create radiators automatically. And as you see, I have radiators of under every single window. Of course, it looks a little bit too many radiators. So either you have to deselect some windows or you can now uh, just delete some radiators if you believe that there are too many. <laughs>